What the? Okay, shot through the rocks. Nice. Hello and welcome back to a new video. But before we get into the video, I would like to thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. And that I'm doing a 1000 subscriber special that will be coming soon. Now, back to the video. So, I had almost just snowballed. But I died and was now back on zero. So I started heading towards the spot I wanted to build in. But as I was running, I met this guy in a hazmat suit, farming barrels on the road. But he seemed friendly, he let me pass and we went our separate ways. Until I guess he saw this fire ass pumpkin skin I have because he turned around and started shooting at me. But after missing every shot, he gave up. And now his friend is roof camping me. But I guess he needed the training. I had blood out, but I had a sleeping bag in the area. And as I was running back, I ran by naked body after naked body. Probably killed by the guy sniping on the rock. But I found a few unlooted bodies. And after farming for a bit, it was time to get up a base. And after getting up the base, it was time to get familiar with the area. After this, I did some upgrades to my base and placed down a level 2 workbench. Then I crafted a custom, but as I waited for night to turn day, I started hearing shots outside.
I was just out getting some stone for my base, when I saw one of the guys from the big rock base out farming alone. I managed to slip away with all of the loot. So after getting a bunch of guns and loot, it was time to log off. But first I did some upgrades to the base. I made peak downs. A shooting floor. And a heli garage. Okay, so right now the title doesn't really make sense. Up until now, I hadn't really had any problems on the server. Even if I was outnumbered or outgunned, I had won every single fight so far. But here's where the story takes a turn. I started hearing rockets in the distance. So, I went to see if I could counter it. I died, but there wasn't really anything fishy about the situation. He had just outdained me, right? Well, I went back.
Now, this was a bit more fishy. Either this guy was cheating, or he was a fucking god. But I was pretty sure this guy was cheating. I went back to pick up the scraps from the raid. I didn't really get what was going on here, but the Zerg on the rock was shooting down rockets on something. As I got closer, someone started saying my name. Yeah, this guy was definitely cheating. After this, a couple of hours went by, and this message was put in chat. Finally. But only seconds after this message, and he was back. On a new, fresh account, boasting in the chat on how we will never get him banned. And how we only cheated to take out the big Zerg on the rock. What a hero. But you see, he had done a fatal mistake. Let me explain his mistake with a real life example. This is Jimmy. If Jimmy breaks the law and is about to go to jail, but Jimmy gets a brilliant plan. He decides to switch identity. But then after switching identity, Jimmy goes back to the same city and starts boasting about how he broke the law, but will never go to jail. If he does that, he will be put back to jail. Same with this Jimmy. He thinks he's invisible. And he thinks nobody can touch him. But I took all of the text messages in the chat, screenshotted it, and sent it to the admins. Then I logged off. But he left me this final message. And I left mine. And when logging back in the next morning, he had done it. Our cheater had in fact raided me. But I wasn't done on the server just yet. No, this run had only just begun.